As of midnight Sunday, every person entering New Zealand, including returning New Zealand citizens and residents, will be required to enter self-isolation for 14 days. Everybody. The Pacific are exempted from this measure. They are the only ones. Anyone from this country, though, will be required to automatically self-isolate should they exhibit any COVID-19 symptoms upon arrival in New Zealand. All of these restrictions will be reviewed in 16 days' time. Alongside Israel and a small number of Pacific Islands who have effectively closed their borders, this decision will mean New Zealand will have the widest ranging and toughest border restrictions of any country in the world. We are also encouraging New Zealanders to avoid all non-essential travel overseas. This helps reduce the risk of New Zealand and New Zealander bringing COVID-19 back with them. We accept that for New Zealanders currently overseas, this is a stressful time. And we encourage any New Zealander needing consular assistance to contact the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In addition to restrictions on air travel, we are also taking firm measures on cruise ships. As of midnight tonight, we are issuing a directive to all cruise ships not to come to New Zealand until at least 30 June 2020. That is for incoming cruise ships. At which time, the directive will be reviewed. I want to be very clear. These measures that we are announcing today are about people, not products. They do not apply to cargo ships. They do not apply to cargo planes. They do not apply to marine or air crew. And we will be working to ensure we keep sea and air freight routes open for imports and exports. In short, no one needs to conduct a run on their supermarket. It's worth remembering that we've had travel restrictions on China for over a month and the supply routes despite those travel restrictions, have continued. So I just say again, there is no need for anyone, despite these restrictions, to conduct a run on their supermarket. This is about restricting the movement of people, not products. We will continue to have imports come into New Zealand. We are mindful that some items that come into New Zealand come via passenger flights. That's why support where needed will be provided to ensure that essential air freight like pharmaceuticals, continue to arrive and be shipped into New Zealand. And we do not take these decisions lightly. We know these travel restrictions will place a significant strain on the aviation industry. And we anticipate some routes will reduce or cease for a period of time. As such, the government will work closely with the aviation sector to encourage and support airlines to remain active in New Zealand so that we can rebound from the restrictions quickly and not have significant impacts on our tourism sector, exports and economy. In addition to these measures, the Finance Minister will also announce an economic response, including the business continuity package on Tuesday.